Sales Workshop. I've got another tool haul for you today. The girl that ran that other estate sale that I showed all those other tools she also called me said, uh, come on back and get what's left if you want it and you can have it at a good price. So I don't know if the price was all that good, but it was, eh, it was good. But so I, that's what I did. So let me, uh, let me show you what all I got. Got this, this is a Stanley, I believe. It's a Stanley hammer. And uh, it's really nice. I think it's 16 ounce, pretty cool. I don't have any brands on here yet. I haven't cleaned any of this off, but this is a old grease gun. I think it's been around a while. Picked up another hammer. There's no name on it either that I can see yet. Maybe under there somewhere. Got an, another brace. This is a Miller's Fall. Miller's Fall, something like that. So yeah, this is a nice one. Uh, this is an old spatula. No name, nothing visible. Uh, I got three of these uh, snap ring pliers, three of those. Um, Brand name, I don't know, QTC, something like that. I was curious about this though. These are, these are some saw blades and they connect to something, but I, I thought I had the piece that went with this, but I don't. If any of you guys can use these uh, and know what they fit to, then let me know, I'll send them to you. Uh, got me a grommet kit so you know if I need to put a grommet on something I can do that you got three of these uh, router bits three of these is uh, you know. uh, I got this box I actually picked this up with the box but it's got full of masonry bits I've got plenty of those but you know never I guess you can't have too many Got this oil, I guess this is an oil can. Um, no names on it, but uh, it's got a spout, kind of like an oil can, so, you know, if you got any ideas on how this is used, uh, you can see right down here, this is, this is, I don't know. This is, a, this is a nice little Craftsman oil can, and it still works fine. Just needs some love. Found this old, this thing is copper. Oh, a little nice copper funnel. Pretty awesome little thing. This thing right here, this is something I really, really like. This is a gauge. And, uh, it says for steam heating, it's the uh, Webster system. But this thing's solid brass. Oh, don't me way, it's, it's worth a penny. Got a couple of these old hinges. They're, they're in perfect condition except for the rust. And let's see, got a couple of screwdrivers. I think this is a Craftsman, this is no name. Uh, picked up a DC bolt gauge bunch of hardware over here. I got some lock washers. I got screws. Oh, this is kind of cool. This is a little Craftsman. It's a mini uh, screwdriver. Got two or three of them that are that are missing in there, but eh, never mind. It won't come apart. Oh, let's see. Got some nuts and bolts. I thought these were magnets, but they're they're uh, bearings. You can see they're real small. And um, this, I'm not sure what this is. I have really no idea, except it might be a motorcycle jack, maybe? I don't know. If you happen to know what this thing is, 
this thing comes out like so. Leave it down in the comments so tell me what it is. Um, let's get over here. Okay, I wanted to show you this. This is uh, this is pretty cool. This is a bicentennial lantern. I uh, never heard of it before, but it's cool. It's a it's a working functional lantern. Picked up this little uh, black and decker drill. And uh, this is a Craftsman. It's a three-eighths drill. Two fifths horsepower. It's kind of heavy duty. Kind of nice. Got another uh, glue gun. I guess you can't have too many of those. Picked up a Craftsman Dremel. Always good to have a spare. I've gone through a couple of these already. And I got a uh, jigsaw. I think it's missing the trigger. May have to do a little work on it, but I think it'll work. Got this uh, seven and a quarter inch Craftsman carbide blades, never been used. Still got the plastic on it for the uh, scale saw. And if you happen to know where I could get parts for this, this I think this is a air sander. It's missing this part. It may just be scrap. It may not be worth doing anything with. This is a uh, Chicago pneumatic. Uh, I've got three of these actually. This is the this is the middle size. This is the smaller one. See, I don't know, this one is a. No, there's no markings on that one. This one here is a 721. And this one is a 734. Now, this is the big heavy duty one. We got three of those. We got this. Uh, this light. Uh, this hanging light. It's needing some love. No plug on it. Uh, Woodhead Protex. Protex Woodhead? Woodhead Protex. I don't know. But it's, uh, it's a nice heavy duty one, so I'll be putting it back in working condition. We got this jack. It's in working condition. No brand name yet, but. And just found this old fireplace shovel. I thought I am probably going to clean it up and make it uh, look better, but it's, it's in good shape too. This is uh, one other thing here. This is a heater. You may have seen it on Scout Crafter before. He had one of these that he cleaned up. This one has a broken ceramic thing in there. So if you happen to, I've been looking up to see if I could find parts, but I haven't found a place yet. But it needs a little love as well. It's a uh, universal. And, uh, but it'll clean up nice and look good, and especially if I can find that element. Let's see. Oh yeah, I found this. This is this is uh, this is part to a cannon. This is the back part of it, and uh, I'll show you the cannon. And this is the cannon. Now, when I originally was going to get this, I thought it was all brass, but it's not. It's pewter. But it's very cool looking. It'll make a nice addition to the shop to just kind of, you know, give it some class. And then I got this big pickaxe. I don't see a name on it yet. Have to get through all that rust. And you got this big roll of paper. 
always needing something like this. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Me and Archie appreciate your help too. Archie just begging for you to subscribe. Thank you.